Hello students and welcome to my channel Maths App. So in this video series on partial differential equations, we'll talk about the first order nonlinear PD, right? So there are basically four types of nonlinear PD. So we'll discuss it one by one. So the first type of PD is when the equation, the PD contains only the terms P and Q, right? So how to solve these equations? So every type has its own method. So we need to recognize the type and then we need to apply it in the question, right? So the first type involves when the equation only contains P and Q. So what is the method? We will substitute P equal to A in the given equation and we will try to evaluate Q in terms of A. Once Q is evaluated in terms of A, we know that Z is dependent on X and Y. We assumed it in the very beginning. So we can always write dz as the total derivative of z as del z by del x into dx plus del z by del y into d. So we know that del z by del x is p dx plus del z by del y is q into d y. Right. So we will use these the definition of total derivative. We will substitute the values of p and q. We'll integrate the equation and that will give rise to the value of z, right? So let's try to apply this type 1 in the exercise. So we have the first question as p plus q is equal to pq. So we can see that this is a function totally dependent on p and q. So what is the technique? We will assume that let p is equal to a. So if p is equal to a, let us substitute it in the given equation. So a plus q is equal to a into q. So let's collect the terms of q. So we get a q minus q is equal to a. So what is q? q will come out to be a upon a minus 1. Right? So we have the values of p and we have the values of q. So let us substitute in dz as p dx plus q dy. So when we substitute in p dx plus q dy, p is how much? a. So this is a dx plus what is q? q is a upon a minus 1 dy. So this is equal to dz. Now we can simply integrate this equation, right? So you can see that the variables are easily separated. So when we integrate it, z is equal to a is constant. So ax plus Again, a upon a minus y is constant and we get y. So, this becomes our answer. Right? So, I hope it is clear. Okay. So, let's try another problem. So, we need to solve p squared plus q squared is equal to 1. So, again, you can see that it is a function only containing p and q. Although the solution is already there in this video. But I would request you not to check the answer. Solve it first. Once you get stuck, only then check the solution. Right? So I'll explain the solution. So what is happening? We will put a is e uh, p is equal to a. So when we put p is equal to a, we will get a squared plus q squared is equal to 1. So from here, q squared is 1 minus a squared or q is equal to under root of 1 minus a squared, right? So with these values, we can substitute it in dz equal to p dx plus q dy. So p is a dx and q will be under root of 1 minus a squared into dy. So we can simply integrate them because they are constants and after integrating them, we will get the arbitrary constant c, right? Okay. So now let's move on to the second type of equation. Now the second type of PD, nonlinear PD is the one which has the three terms that is Z, P and Q. Now when the equation contains Z, P and Q, then what is the technique? The technique says that put Q is equal to AP. So when we put Q is equal to AP, we will substitute in the given equation and we will try to calculate P in terms of Z, right? Once we evaluate P in terms of Z, it can be substituted in DZ is equal to P dx plus Q dy and we can integrate the equation to get the solution, right? So let's try one question on this. So 
Then check this exercise. If this p into 1 plus q is equal to qz. So it's a function containing p, q and z. So what is the technique? The technique says that put q is equal to ap. Right? So let us put q is equal to ap. So p into 1 plus q is ap is equal to q is a into p into z. Right? So from here I can easily see that 1p gets cancelled. We get 1 plus ap is equal to az. So I need to calculate p in terms of z. So p will become az minus 1 divided by a. Right? So now let us substitute it in dz is equal to p dx plus q dy. So when I substitute in this, p, dx, p is az minus 1 upon a dx plus what is q? We substituted q as a into p. So p is az minus 1 divided by a into d. Right? So this A gets cancelled and I can see that I can bring this AZ minus 1 on the left side. So that is the common term. So we will get DZ upon AZ minus 1 is 1 by ADX plus D by. Isn't it? Sorry, this is X, right? So I'll get DZ upon AZ minus 1 is 1 by ADX plus D by. Now is it integrable? All the variables are separated, right? So, we have az minus 1. So, what is the integration of this? It will become log of az minus 1 divided by a. This is equal to 1 by a log x plus integration of y dy would be y plus an arbitrary constant c. Right? So, this becomes my answer. Clear? Okay. So, you can try one more exercise. P into 1 plus Q square is equal to Q into Z minus alpha. So, alpha is a constant here. So, again, you can see that this is a equation containing P, Q and Z. So, I'll just show you the solution. So, do not check the solution before you attempt the question. So we put Q is equal to AP. So you can see P into 1 plus A square P square is AP into Z minus alpha. So 1 P gets removed. We will get A square P square is A into Z minus alpha minus 1. So P becomes A into Z minus alpha minus 1 upon A square under the root. So we substitute it in DZ equal to P DX plus Q dy. So that is P DX plus Q is A into P dy. So, when I substitute it, I'll get this equation dz is under root of a into z minus alpha minus 1 by a squared dx plus a dy. Then I can bring this term to the left side. I'll get a upon under root of a into z minus alpha minus 1 dz is equal to dx plus a dy. And now when I integrate it, I can substitute this whole term equal to something as u and then after integrating it, I'll get this expression, right? Okay. So do try this problem. So now let's move on to the third type. That is when the function in x, there is a function in x and p and you can separate it. And you can also write it equal to another function in y and q. That means from the entire equation, you can separate out x and p on one side and you can separate out y and q on the other side. So by separating them, we can put it equal to a. So by comparing the first function with a, we can calculate p in terms of x. And comparing the second function with a, we can compare, we can calculate q in terms of a. Right? Then we can substitute it in dz equal to p dx plus q dy. We can integrate the equation. And from there, we can get the solution. Right? So let's try one problem. So we need to solve p square y into 1 plus x square is equal to qx square. So you can see that it is containing p, x, y and q. So let us try to separate the terms, right? So p square 1 plus x square and we'll bring x square to the side and we have q by 
y, right? So let us put it equal to some constant a. So when I compare p square into 1 plus x square divided by x square is equal to a. So what is p square from here? It is a x square upon 1 plus x square. So p comes out to be under root a x divided by under root of 1 plus x square. Right? And q by y is equal to a. So q comes out to be a into y. Right? So now let us substitute it in p dz is equal to p dx plus q dy. So p is under root of ax divided by under root of 1 plus x square dx and q is a into y dy. And on the left side we have dz. So under root a is a constant. So what is the integration of this term? So you can see that we can put 1 by x square equal to t. So I'll get 2x dx is equal to dt, right? Or I can put it is equal to t square, 1 plus x square equal to t square. So I will get 2x dx is equal to 2t dt, right? So I can just replace it. So I'll get 2t dt. So, this integral becomes root a x dx will become 2t dt by 2. So, it is simply t dt. And denominator is under root 1 plus x squared. So, that is t squared. So, I will get a t here. So, t cancels and we will get a by dy is equal to d. So, let us integrate it. And when we integrate it, we will get z is equal to under root of a t plus a y square by 2 plus an arbitrary constant t. So, what is t under root of 1 plus x? Right? So, this becomes my answer. Clear? Right? Okay. So, do try this problem. So, again, you can see that you can separate p and x square on one side and q and y square on the other side. So, when you separate p minus x square and q plus y square, you'll get p is a plus x square and q is a minus y square. So, dz is p dx plus q dy. So, you can substitute a plus x square dx plus a minus y square dy. So, on integrating, this is a simple integral. So, on integrating, you'll get the solution. Right? So, this is type 3 problems. And finally, we move on to type 4 problems. Very simple as we did in ordinary differential equation. So, this is a standard Claret's equation. So, the equation should be expressible as z is equal to px plus qy plus f of pq. So, if you remember in OD, the equation was, it was not z, it was y is equal to px plus f of p. And if you remember, we can solve it by y method and p comes out to be a constant. So, your solution used to be y is equal to cx plus f of c. So, now in this Claret's equation, we have z is equal to px plus qy plus f of p comma q. What's the solution? You need to put p equal to a and q equal to b. And the solution obtained is z is equal to ax plus by plus f of a comma. Right? So, this is the simplest of all the equations. So, let us try to solve this equation. So, solve 2q is into z minus px minus qy is 1 plus q square. So, you can see that we can separate it like this. z minus px minus qy is 1 plus q square divided by 2q. Right? So, now we can transfer px and qy on the other end. px plus qy plus 1 plus q square divided by 2. Done. So, is it in the form of Claret's equation? Is it of the form z is equal to px plus qy plus f of p comma q? Yes. So, in this case, we will substitute p equal to constant a and q equal to constant b. So, the solution turns out to be z is equal to 
ax plus by plus f of a comma b. So in this case, what is my solution? Z turns out to be ax plus by plus 1 plus q is b square divided by 2. So this becomes my answer. Right? Okay. So after doing all these questions, after doing this practice, do check your progress by attempting these questions. The answers are already provided, right? So if you have any doubts, do let me know in the comment section so we can discuss those problems and try all these problems. Okay. So thank you so much. So with this, we come to the end of this video. So if you like the video, do hit the like button. And those of you who haven't subscribed my channel, do subscribe my channel to get the latest updated video. Thank you and have a very nice day.